Hi, I'm Alan Campbell. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Detroit police are searching for a gunman who opened fire, shooting two men. It happened in the 6300 block of Vinewood that's on the city's west side. One person is dead. Another was taken to the hospital and went into surgery. Police still working on a motive. A Canton woman is sharing her family's fight with COVID-19. Maggie Styes took to social media to share a blunt message to not let your guard down. Styes has asthma and describes her battle with COVID-19 as terrifying. She's warning her friends and family to take the situation very seriously and not gather for the holidays in an effort to limit the spread of the virus. Well, there are still plenty of Michigan families hurting financially. Now, Governor Gretchen Whitmer is asking state legislators for a $100 million stimulus plan. She wrote a letter to lawmakers this week. It also asks for a permanent extension of unemployment benefits. She's expected to meet with legislative leaders on Tuesday. And with Black Friday over, we shift our focus now to Small Business Saturday. Retail experts say the economic troubles caused by the pandemic make it more important than ever before to support your neighborhood businesses. Small businesses all over Metro Detroit are now getting creative, hoping you'll shop with them this holiday season. Remember, many also offer delivery or even curbside pickup. Let's check in now with meteorologist Mike Taylor for a check of your seven first alert forecast. Mike. Hey, thanks, Alan. We're expecting skies to stay clear for tonight, but it is going to be chilly, though. Temps are going down into the 20s and the 30s. 30 degrees in Detroit and Mount Clemens, 27 in Ann Arbor, as well as Howe.